I recently received a comment from uh, a viewer where I was using these products, this Novus scratch removal products, to clean up um, dust covers on uh, turntables. And it works pretty well as long as they're fairly lightly scratched. And he said he lives over in Europe and wasn't able to find these guys, I guess, and said he uses this, this 3M headlight restoration system. So I picked one up because I have um, a dust cover here from my old uh, dual turntable that's got some pretty deep scratches in it that I wasn't able to get out with the Novus products. And that's for my uh, dual 1019 turntable that I use basically every day for a couple hours at least. So I mean, normally I don't even put the dust cover on just because I'm using it so much. but I might try to clean it up. I've never used this before, um, but this is my turntable and it was given to me for free, so if it messes it up, it's, it'll still work as a dust cover. But I wanted to try it just to see if it will get those deep scratches out. Maybe use it for other, other people's uh, more scratched up um, dust covers. So I think I'll give it a try. All right, I read the directions here on this product, this 3M headlight system, cleaning system. And you use a drill and a little uh, pad that they give you, a little Velcro backed pad. Three different grits, one, two, and three, and then a polishing pad with polishing compound. So um, I start it up here and see what happens. Right, here we go with the first one. Ooh, it's a little scary. Well, it definitely takes some uh, some plastic off of the the cover here. I'm going to go through the whole thing and see if I can get those deep scratches out and then we'll go move on to step two. I think I got all the big deep scratches out here. I'll try cleaning this off with a wet cloth here and take a look at it. Yeah, my deepest one was right there. Still a little bit. Well, there's a few right here too. I might go back and try to get some more. But that looks like I've got most of the big deep scratches out. So far, success. Alright, uh, that's the results so far. And I'm not going to go do the sides here. There were, there's no deep scratches in the sides. It's just the top here where people were, would put stuff down on top. You can see, it's very hazy. There's a few still light deep scratches. I don't really want to go too much deeper on those. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the grits here. That was the P500 and there's the P800. I guess uh, it's going to take some of the scratches out and uh, start polishing. Let's see how it works. finer sandpaper. So I'll do the whole thing and see what it looks like after that. All right, that's step two. Let's see how it looks. Get all the dust off of it here. Well, it does seem to be... It's still hazy, of course, but that's... You know, got the uh, deeper scratches out that well, the um, bite scratching that this one did, I moved on to that, and it seems to be getting a little clearer and looking a lot better. Those deep scratches are gone. Let's see if we can make it real clear here with the next step, the 3000. So, now with the P800. 
think you're supposed to use a little bit of water with this one. So let me go get a spray bottle. I couldn't find a spray bottle, so I just used the uh, bottle of water here that I usually use to fill up my uh, soldering station um, thing. So I just kind of coated this with some water and got the number three pad on. What happens? Looks like it's going to shine it up pretty well. So, we'll coat the whole thing with, with that one and uh, then we'll be ready for the polishing compound. Alright, step three. Let's see where we are here. Well, it's looking clearer and clearer. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. All right, on to the uh, polishing compound step. Okay, so the instructions say to put about a dime size chunk of this polishing compound on the pad. You all like that, and then you kind of that with it. I'm going to turn it on. Hmm. It's working. So I'll do the whole area with this and uh, bring you back and show you what it looks like. All right. Let's see what we got. This is supposed to be the final step. looking pretty darn good. Yeah, that looks nice. I don't see any of the scratches that I had before. It looks perfectly clear. I was very scratched up before and now looks like brand new. So it's a little scary using this stuff, but uh, at least in this case it worked pretty well so thank you uh, YouTube viewer mobile phone for that suggestion to use the uh, 3M products not only does it work on headlights but it works on dust covers too